What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Today is Tuesday the 14th of May. My hair is sticking up from sleeping and my camera's not even in focus. There we go. Today's video, I'm going to include a back and bicep workout. So be sure to look out for that if that's what you're looking for. And um, yeah, basically enjoy this vlog. I'm about to go and weigh myself because we are doing a cut right now. Weighed myself yesterday, 170.4 pounds. So today, we're gonna see if I dropped any weight. Wait. We'll see if it drops in weight, so let's go. Just gonna put the camera down over here whilst I weigh myself. For a decent drop, guys, we are weighing 169.6 pounds. Honestly, feeling really good about that. That's definitely a decent drop, so 174 pounds yesterday, so about 0.8 pound drop, which is uh, pretty decent in like one whole day. Um, obviously to make that consistent weight drop we're gonna have to you know keep weighing ourselves for the whole week and also consistently dieting which is what we are doing um, feeling actually really lean uh, right at the moment did some cardio yesterday and did 220 calories in about 15 minutes felt awesome uh, on the scale masters at my gym the high settings 20 and like that's pretty insane like you are like, like you know Hopping literally on it almost every step, um, but I was on like level 16 or 17, so you know, for the whole thing, so you know, I wasn't even far off the mark. For 15 minutes, you know, doing on like on a high intensity setting, um, it does take its toll, and um, it, honestly, guys, I, I, I was absolutely dripping in sweat after, but um, it felt really good. I've not really done cardio consistently in a very long time, but recently I've been doing it consistently and uh, been really enjoying myself, so that's good. But now, I'm just opening my blinds. I can find the right feeding. But now, basically, guys, I'm gonna go and get ready. And then once I'm ready, I'll be back in this vlog. And um, yeah, basically, we've got a semi busy day today. I've got a few things I need to do for my media project in college. And um, also, edit up next the uh, last video that you guys will have seen. And um, also, make some food because I'm starving. Alright guys, just got out of the shower and because we haven't done it in a long time, we're doing a physique update. So pretty much I've just got the tripod out now and uh, about to set up the camera on and we're doing a quick little physique update as I have lost a significant weight since starting this cut, um, which is I did, uh, which I started because of body power and um, basically I started this cut now because of body power, um, literally just did it for the week just before body power and um, I'm honestly, I've seen some fairly good results from absolutely killing myself with the cardio and the treadmills and the the food <laughs> but um like honestly i'm carrying on this week i'm just going to carry on for the next two or three weeks and just see what i can get really like i'm feeling really lean right now um like lean as i've felt in a long time so i just wanted to f i figured i'd vlog this moment all right so set up the camera now this is the most natural light i can possibly get so obviously i'm not going to look as toned or whatever this is just basically me showing a everyday example of what my physique would look like if that makes sense rather than just you know putting down some you know lighting that's gonna like shine on to me you know make the labs look shredded and stuff like that when they're not really that so pretty much yeah let's go so here i am these are the abs obliques bicep front bicep pose tricep get a bit of help flexing the other arm. Oh, I cannot actually flex this one at all, guys. Like, I think that's probably the best I'm gonna get. Do a front bicep pose. Excuse the fringe, by the way, guys. Um, I can't really get my like. I'll try and get my legs in. Okay, this is probably the best I'm gonna get in terms of legs, but that's my quads on there. Quads on there. Uh, calves. Can I get these calves in? I don't know. Oh my god. Calves, if you can see them, I don't know. I'm trying my best to flex them. So there you have it, guys. That has been my physique update, and um, pretty much, yeah, I'm feeling really good right now, like, honestly. Like, um, it's definitely not the most shredded, but. Um, feeling absolutely lean right now and loving it, especially considering that summer's coming, guys. Like, look at the sky. Hang on, I'm focused. Oh my god, it's mad, does it? Look at the sky. Look how beautiful it is. Honestly, loving the weather right now. 
Like, I don't know whether it's me, guys, but honestly, I feel like summer just brings good vibes in general. Like, you know, you just, you're so much happier compared to the way you are in winter. Like, I find winter, I'm always fairly quite down, but then when summer comes, like, it could be, like, you know, I could be falling out of all my friends or whatever, but if the sky's blue and, you know, like, everything's going well, you know, I'll be having such a sick time, you know what I mean? Like, i would just be in such a good mood, such a good buzz. Um, and yeah, honestly, right, I need, to start, I need to get some clothes on and, you know, sort my hair out. So, yeah, I'll uh, be right back. <laughs> okay, I am now ready for the day. So we're about to go make some breakfast. I am honestly starving, really ready to eat. Probably going to make a bowl of granola and yogurt and um, probably a coffee because I am, I need a coffee, man. I am so... If I am to function today, I need a coffee, man. So, anyway, let's go make some breakfast, guys. Alright, so for breakfast today guys, I've got some Halo Top sea salted caramel ice cream mixed with granola. Um, I couldn't find, we ran out of Greek yogurt, so I kind of couldn't really use any Greek yogurt today. So I improvised and I'm using some ice cream instead. Um, Halo Top ice cream is actually probably the healthiest ice cream that I know out, out there right now. Um, I think there is healthier, but as far as I'm aware, in terms of like retailers and stuff like that, if you guys are looking for a healthy alternative to just normal ice cream, definitely try and get some Halo Top ice cream, high in protein, um, honestly got some really decent calories, I'm pretty sure one tub's only like 310 calories which is insane for ice cream, you know you get to Ben and Jerry's and you've got a, a decent like 700 to 800 calories in one go, whereas like that tub's 300, like it's just, it's insane, trust me guys, so Halo Top ice cream, highly recommend it, um, yeah, in fact, you know what, I'll show you guys the product, so this is the ice cream, the one that I go for, Halo Top, Sea salted caramel, it's like this tub here, it's like the yellowy sort of like vanilla banana looking sort of tub. Um, honestly, highly recommend it. This one's got 320 calories in it with 7.3 grams of sugar per serving, high in protein. So per serving, you've got five grams of protein, which is pretty good for an ice cream, guys. So trust me, I highly recommend it. So I'm about to eat my breakfast right now and then I'm going to edit a video. So pretty much uh, time is very productive at the moment. So once I've done that, we have to probably head about college. It's currently 10 to 9 right now and I have to be at college for 25 past 11. So I've got quite a few hours to spare. So I want to get this video done that you guys are going to see just before this vlog. Um, and then pretty much, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you guys once I've done that. So who knows, might get done in two hours, might not. We'll find out. It's not even two hours, is it? It's about... Mm. Actually, no, it is over two hours, I think. Nine, ten. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I've got over two hours, so... Yeah. Two hours later. Alexa, volume one. Honestly, guys, I highly recommend the Siege for our workout tracks, so trust me. Like, the Siege, basically, when I say the Siege, it's spelled like the, and then S-E-I-G-E, Probably put it on the screen right now. So yeah, basically, honestly, I recommend them so much for music. Cause honestly, they're just they're just dope, man. I was like, I think I've like spoke to them like once on Instagram uh, DM before. I honestly, God, sick music, very very underrated. Probably the best music I've ever listened to for working out. Um, but you know, also in general, just get yourself hyped. I was like, their, their music's so good for getting yourself hyped. But anyway, the it's currently half past ten right now. Um, I'm currently getting ready to go to college because uh, I've got some media stuff to do which basically I need to film my media production for my media coursework but then also I've got a drama lesson at 10 past 2 so yeah we're probably heading to college soon um, I'm going to take the camera with me not really going to vlog in college too much just because uh, I don't really think I've got the, that, that too much confidence yet to do that sort of thing but I'll vlog like on the way there and then put the camera in the bag and then I'll be back on camera after college, so that won't be the idea. But um, yeah, uh, video is ready. You'll be seeing this video today on Tuesday, 14th of May. And um, this one probably, hopefully, end of the week, maybe Friday, Saturday, hopefully. Um, honestly, man, I'm feeling so like hyped and like motivated right now. It's unreal. I've uh, not felt this in a long time, and honestly, it's such a satisfying feeling when you finally like reignite that spark that's been like dimished for quite a while, that makes sense. Hello mister, I don't think you've actually ever been in any vlog, so 
why not introduce yourself? So this is my cat Rio. I have a cat and a dog, and this is Rio. Um, honestly, he's probably the naughty one. I'll have them both, but he's also the most loving, at least well to me anyway. Keo normally comes to me if I have food, but Keo's more my mum's pet, whereas Rio, he's sort of more mine. Um, I don't know why, he just seems to prefer me to my mum. Um, half the time, I barely even get to spend time with him because I'm so busy, but like, yeah. This is Rio right here. So Rio, say hi. Say hi to the vlog. Alright, we're about to set off now. So, oh my god, I got actually feel the heat like through the door. Alright. Oh my god, it's so warm. And bright. This is not England. <laughs> but honestly guys, it is boiling. You can hear the birds. It's nice. It's about 25 to 11 now. So I really need to get my arse in gear against college. But um, yeah, pretty much. Got some things to do in college now, obviously, and uh, prize are probably not gonna see me now until after college, but I'll let you guys know what I ate at college, because I have my packed lunch in my bag. I'm actually gonna buy any food. I might buy a bottle of water, but other than that, I'm buy any food. I've got a some caught up fruit, got some watermelon, um, grapes, blueberries, some strawberry, um, and some pineapple, and then I've also got two ham sandwiches made. Um, you know, guys, I'm a bit weird like this, but I actually don't really like having too much, too many uh, fit sandwich fillings. If that makes sense. I like to have one or two. Um, sometimes I have like chicken and bacon with mayonnaise on sandwich or something, but if not, normally I just have either ham or cheese or you know, basically I just want, like one or two sandwich fillings. I can't. I don't. I don't get people out they can have like free sandwich fillings, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've never tried a sandwich with like free fillings, but I don't know, it's never really appealed to me, like, you know, BLTs and BMTs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's a weird, why am I talking about sandwiches on my way to college? So John, how do you feel about being in this production? Whatever, mate. <laughs> not vlogging. What's up, guys? I'm not vlogging. Oh, I've got well excited. Well, I, mean, I want to be in one of your YouTube awesome. videos. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you said, like, your name is Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. So, I finished college now. I'm about to go home. Probably get some food. Uh, probably some chicken, rice, and broccoli. You know, the, the typical bodybuilder's meal. And uh, pretty much after that, I'm going to hit some back and bicep at the gym. So, I'll be sure to vlog that. Not sure what I'm going to do, though. Might do a commentary or possibly a raw cut, maybe. Not sure yet. Uh, I might do a poll on my Instagram. In fact, I'm going to do a poll on my Instagram today. Uh, I'll decide the outcome of the workout in this video. So, um, yeah, I actually got a video coming out today as well. Hmm. But, um, yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys when I'm once, once I'm home. Just need to quickly make a clip to you guys for this video, but do you know when everything's going to plan and everything's going so perfect and like you're doing a really good job with it all, and all of a sudden something just clicks in your head and you're like, hang on a minute, I am not doing the right thing here. That's one of these moments that just happened right now. Basically, this vlog. Um, was meant to have a back and bicep workout. Now I've only now it's only just clicked in my head that my last video is a back and bicep workout. So my idea is that I'm going to do another workout for this video. I'm going to do probably a legs or chest session and then put it in this video. So all I'm saying is is that the workout that you're about to see will be um, from another day. If that makes sense. So pretty much yeah, and then it's going to go back to this day. So the workout's on another day, but the rest of the video is on the same day, if that makes sense. That's just to make sure that, you know, my workouts are a uh, bit diverse and not always like do record the same workout. I really, I always try to strive for that, guys. I always try to record a different workout each time I do a video. So let's say my, for example, this video now that I'm uploading, that I'm uploading right now, is a back workout so my next one will be chest or legs and then once let's say I did chest the next one will be legs and then obviously it will be going back in that order or whatever it will just be either one or the other of the other two that I didn't do previous like for the last video so that makes sense that's that's kind of what I go for a person with vlogs so I don't know if it's do you guys like that I don't know um but uh yeah honestly though I'm really proud of myself recently I've been vlogging a ton and also just kind of really capturing my life a lot better than what I previously would do so it's really good honestly I'm quite quite proud of myself
All right, guys, so you've reached the workout session on my video. So pretty much we're going to be doing a top five chest exercises. And this is basically just telling you guys the best chest exercises that I normally do, the ones that I find the most effective for growth and strength development. So the first one we're doing is the bench press. Now the bench press is probably the key compound movement to grow in your chest. Basically, if you, if you want chest gains, guys, you've got to be in your bench. You've got to be maximizing the weight on it and working out good high RM. So today, guys, we are doing some pause rep movements. So what we're doing is basically getting on the bench like this. Position, arching our back, getting the grip there. Now normally there's lines on the bar, I'll tell you where to put your hands. Grip to the bar, normally I have to move the bar to make sure it's not in the middle of my chest. And what we do is we lift it like so, and then we come down, pause, one, two, three, straight back right up. Then we do that again, one, two, three, back up, and we do that for ten reps, three sets. The next exercise that I would recommend to grow in your chest is incline dumbbell press. That doesn't necessarily need to be an incline, that's just my preference. Um, just because I feel like it gives a good volume and pump towards your chest. So what we're going to be doing today is some slow rep movements focused on the volume and contraction and the full range of motion. So I've got some 20 kg dumbbells here. I'm going to pick these up, come here like this. We're going to come back, do the same thing as last time, arch your back. Bring these as low as you can, not obviously too low, or well, low there, you want it to wait, it feels like you're pressing on your chest already. Come straight up, nice and slowly, or hold, straight down, nice and slowly. The key for this guys is the rom, the range of motion, that's what you want to focus on. And today we're going to make four sets of the ten. <laughs> Guys, the next exercise that I recommend is cable flies. Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be with a cable, you can also do the machine chest flies if your gym has that. But um, the reason why I like this exercise is because I feel like it gives a good overall feel to the chest. Very good for getting a pump and um, also, and it also helps to really contract those muscle fibers in your chest. So um, basically, I'm showing you guys what I normally do now. So I normally got 18 kg on here. I get both sides. Come to the middle. Now I'd make sure I'm in the middle by looking up. This pull them in. I bring one foot out, and then bring them here. And the same thing as you do on the bench press, bring them to a point where it feels like it's pressing on your chest. And then you come in, squeeze at the top, and then bring them out. I normally do that for about 15 reps. I normally like to go very high in the volume as exercise. So like so. fourth chest exercise that I'll be showing you guys is literally just a simple press up. Now a lot of people seem to overlook this exercise just because of the simpleness of it and the fact you don't use any weight, you're just using your body weight. Obviously you can apply weight by you know putting a plate on your back for example or something, but um, personally I just stick with body weight and focus on just tension and um, really just like going nice and slow and steady and just like really feeling the burn. So if I was to show you guys what I do, normally in this position like this, I use normally a line or something to make sure that I'm even down in position like this and then I'll come down nice and slowly touch my chest on the floor straight back up really quick and nice and slowly back down all about focusing on that negative breathing is also really important make sure after every rep you breathe in really well because um, as long as your breathing's on point you can literally smash practically anything uh, any exercise really so, so watch what I do here I breathe in as I come down and then I breathe out as I'm coming back up and it really just helps get that kick fire going and uh, use the momentum to really make sure you're maximizing the amount of reps you can get per set so we'll do some more of these The final exercise I'd recommend guys is a chest press. Now this one is pretty much close to doing a bench press or a dumbbell press, but it's more controlled since using a machine. So normally I like to work with about 60, 50 kg on here, about 50 to 60 kg roughly, and I'd go for reps of 10, 
Just really, again, focusing on that emphasis on the ROM. Make sure I'm getting the full range of motion. Make sure I'm coming in. Make sure I'm feeling that press on my chest. Like, guys, if you're feeling the press on your chest, like, it's almost like you haven't got a bar there or anything like that, but you're feeling that press as you can't take your farm any further back. That's when you know you're using full range of motion. So I like to make sure that's there. Uh, like I say, form is also crucial. But like I say, on machines like this, you don't really need to focus too much on your form. You can just focus on the weight. But focus on getting that mind to muscle connection. So, uh, like I say, I'm going to show you guys what I do now. See guys, I'm very, my arm is very far back right here, and then what I do is I simply push out, like so, and slowly bring it back. Oh. Okay guys, so there you have it, these are my top five chest exercises. Now I feel like this has been highly requested for me for quite a long time. I get a lot of people asking me what do I do for my chest since hitting you know, 140 kg at 16 years old. Obviously I tore my pec now, so you know, I can't even bench that now, which sucks, but I'm working on getting my strength back in my ch uh, chest. I have body power, I did actually get some physio done on it, and it feels a lot better now, and basically I'm able to uh, finally train chest properly again. I'm just working my way up. The last, the heaviest weight I've touched since is 100 kg, but uh, I'm really just focusing on working on the 30 and 35 kg on each side. Uh, so that's like, yeah, so 80 and 90 kg right now on the bench. Um, I think last time I trained chest properly, I did 90 kg for three sets of 10. So it's going up fairly decently. Um, but like I say, I'm just focusing, taking my time, going slow, and I'll eventually make the move to 100 kg and obviously heavier as we develop and as we. Uh, recover from the Tompec injury which happened probably about a good two or three months ago. But anyway, back to the video now guys, hope you've enjoyed this. Alright, so pretty much I finished editing up the workout and everything for this vlog that you're watching right now and um, basically I didn't record a clip to end the video. So, pretty much guys, I think, you know, this is like a 21 minute vlog and that's probably a very good vlog for me, normally they last about 12 minutes maybe, normally less than that. But um, honestly, I'm in such a good mood to grind out the YouTube right now. Um, people who know me will know that this this is not like me at all. So, you know, clearly, Ellis Skidmore Fitness is extremely motivated right now to the YouTube. But um, I just wanted to end the video here. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've tried to make this video a lot different to other videos, and I'm going to try and continue to differentiate my videos a little bit than just the constant, you know. Oh, hey, guys. We're going gym. Do the gym workout, show you guys the workout. Oh yeah, this is the end of the video now, bye. I kinda wanna um, take away from that structure and kinda make them more creative, more quality, and more to be honest, showing my personality and my life. I've talked, I've said this so many times how I need to show myself a bit more on camera, and to be honest, I've come way more confident than what I was back when I, re when, I went, when I started this channel. So, honestly, I'm super hyped right now, and I'm loving making videos for you guys. So, please drop a like, you know, even drop a comment if you're feeling fruity. <laughs> Why did I say fruity? So please drop a like, you know, and drop a comment if you're feeling, you know, really extra generous. You know, Ellis will appreciate it a lot, believe me, guys. I will. Um, and basically, have a nice one. Have a good day, evening, night, morning, whenever you watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next one, which will probably be Monday. So today's Friday. This is, a get, this is getting uploaded on Friday. So I'll see you guys probably Monday. That'll probably be the next vlog. So peace. My waist belt secure The walk back was out the motherfucking door Jamie's back at it Jamie's back at it Rewind the song like